be a clue. Now, where did those fools run off to? changes. By Ifra's hairy feet, you outsiders just keep showing up. You and everyone else in this forest, it seems. My clan has already declared your allies to be trespassers. You... Does a fuzzy newt goat have seven toes? Don't look at me like that. It's a perfectly appropriate analogy. Because I'm tired of seeing people get hurt. Have you noticed the swords left near these campfires? I think your companions are trying to tell us something. Keep your eyes open and your weapon ready. The shadows here are not your friend. You need to be alive. You have to be. I need you to help me. I... I didn't do it. I swear. He was like this when I found him. This poor soldier. He didn't have to die. At least the Khajiit got away. How long? Because we made a stupid deal long, long time ago. We became the guardians of this forest in exchange for power and immortality. There might still be a way to save the other soldier, the Khajiit. But you need to trust me. The Shadow Walkers use runners to search the forest, but you'll never see them. You need to collect the bark of a Spriggan. The bark's magic allows the creatures to... How should I put this? Feel their way through the dark woods. Your friend is out there, being hunted. My clan is ancient, older than you can even imagine. Our tree mender tells stories of the before time, when we lived under the bright skies in the lush forests of Valenwood. According to the stories, the Daedric Prince unleashed his fury upon Valenwood, Gave up. That's one way to look at it. Another way is to see a clan that wanted not only to survive, but to gain a significant advantage. I explained this to you already. I'm tired of darkness and false promises. Did you get the bark? We don't have... Just scrape a bit off the top end. There. An old trick I learned living so long in this dreadful place. While it allows you to see anyone hiding in the Shadow Realm, it also masks your presence from them. I've touched the bark to a wisp of light, and then crossed the bridge. The runners are searching for the remaining soldier.
acting so strangely today. I could have sworn I heard something. Snake, and we'll end your Leave life quickly. does not understand the game the little elf and the snake thing are playing. But we have something important to do. We heard voices in the woods. We thought it was other members of our expedition calling to us for help. The last Elliot King here? Then Captain Alfari was right. This one isn't sure. The little elf appeared out of nowhere. But at least she didn't try to kill Kabu like the other elves did. They both claim to know how to get inside the tower. A safe haven in this place. Kamu looks forward to seeing such a thing. This one doesn't know very much about this area. But this one always has opinions. As... Oh, what a choice. Like deciding whether to roast slowly or leap right into the flames. There is no good answer. Well, the friendly snake thing did help me. We shouldn't dismiss them out of hand. They lack organization and fighting skills. The little elves are ruthless killers. They call themselves the Shadow Walkers. Kamu never saw her before. She stepped out of the shadows, but she didn't attack immediately. I know you can't forgive my clan for what it's done, but they adhere to an ancient promise that will never come to pass. You have to help me convince my clan to break this ages-old agreement. We've guarded these woods and that cursed tower. Assuming that one day Molag Bar would reward us, and let us return to Valenwood. Like me, you've been outside this forest. You know about Molag Bar's plan. You know about the plane meld. Those monsters. We've been at war with them for ages. My people will never listen to you if you take their side. You've seen my people fight. We're trained to kill. It's what we do. Maybe. We shall help you enter the tower. But first, you must help us against these foul wood elves. Do we never asked to be dragged into Cold Harbor. We never made a deal with the Daedric Prince. You are a hero. You stride through Cold Harbor with confidence. And not even the wood elves can touch you. They are monsters. They destroy our eggs and slaughter my people. You will? We have waited such a long time for someone to aid us in our struggle. You have made me very happy, outsider. The vile and ruthless wood elves smash our eggs just because they feel threatened by our numbers. They keep our eggs in their camps. The tower 
Yes, they hide our eggs and their filthy camps. I will find you near the Wood Elves camp. I will show you how to get... Wait, Outsider. A moment more of your time. I get it. My people killed one of your own. They aren't evil, though. You have to understand. Well, yes. I can't argue with that. I understand why you'd want to side with these creatures. I also know you need to get their eggs back. I'm not asking for anything you can't do. And I'll go with you when you're done, to help. The Shadow Walkers watch the forest, but they're too confident. They leave our camps practically undefended. You recovered our eggs. I must return these eggs to our nest. A council of elders leads the wood elves. They live upon a lot. The key is divided into two shards.
are the outsider who has done so much for my people. I am grateful. Once the tyranny of the Shadow Walkers has ended, you will have the help you need. Good. Don't you? Your time is now, my children. Swarm forth and reclaim what is ours. Finally, our children. Slaughtered my people. You have helped us. My people rejoice. Most consider us monsters, but you helped us. We As were... I promised, this door leads to the tower. The Khajiit told me of a city of safety to the east. I'm... finally arrived. The light of Meridia is yours to claim. With it, you can finally set me free. Excellent. Bring the crystal with you. You will need it to free me from my bonds. I have waited for centuries. And waited and waited. The Radiant One knows many things. Have no fear. I am as alive as you are. I knew you were the one I was waiting for. Whatever your purpose here, I can help you. You made it this far, just as I had predicted. I am glad to see that my calculations were not in error. I was captured shortly after Meridia pushed her city into this dread realm. This prison relies on darkness. Molag Baal has trapped me within a pillar of darkness, infused with his own vile energy and powered by the light of Meridia. To reach me, you must first unlock the prison door. Molag Baal uses crystallized darkness to hold me and suppress my power. I am the last alien king. I am a servant of Meridia, her master tactician and strategist. To reach me, you must first unlock the prison door. to the frozen alcove and collect the flame shadow crystal then place it on the central dais at the entrance
Enter the library and collect the Mind Shadow Crystal. Then place it on the central dais of the Pig. entrance. Enter the garden and collect the life shadow crystal. Then place it on the central dais at the entrance. Enter the oubliette and set me free. You have done well to make it this far. There is still more to do to set me free. My body is imprisoned within a pillar of darkness, generated by the ebon shards to each side.
on last. My calculation suggested that you had a slightly better chance to fail rather than to succeed. Agreed. And I... This portal leads to the Hollow City. We shall talk again when we are safely inside its walls. I have barely set foot within these hallowed walls, and I already feel a thousand times better. I must take stock of our assets and resources, determine just how much might we can bring to bear. Only then can I develop a strategy that shall allow us to win this war. But forgive me, I wanted to convey that you performed admirably at the tower. It is good to be back in this ancient city. The soldiers, the ones who call themselves the Fighters Guild. No leader? Well, that is an unacceptable situation. The pieces begin to fall into place. Small groups have trickled in since your departure. The warriors inside seem to be under the protection of the Knight Darien. An ex the pieces begin to fall into place. Your nagging is becoming more annoying than my persistent rash. We finally have a secure base. To go back outside without a plan is even too foolhardy for me. You want us to hide behind these walls? To leave our comrades to die while you sit, whine, and lounge about? You have no honor, Knight. Don't lecture me about honor, Elf. You have no idea what I've seen or what I've gone through. My apologies for that display. A whole rash comment. Just a figure of speech, of course. So, a safe haven, eh? I didn't... That's a good question. An alien? I thought they were all, you know, dead. Attend me, soldiers. We have a war to win, and time grows short. What in Ariel's name is this? Who are you? So that's the last alien, huh? I thought he'd be more... dusty. Isn't that what happens when elves get really, really old? Shut it, you fop. Who's in charge of this group? Step forward and address me. Then allow me to rectify that. I shall lead you. We shall recover your comrades and complete your mission. If that does not work for you, your services are no longer needed. I don't know who you are, but you aren't Fighters Guild. You have no authority over us. Do you challenge me, then? Do you want me to kill you to prove my combat prowess to your companions? I wouldn't necessarily mind seeing that. He is kind of annoying. How can you expect us to lay down our lives with someone we never met? Trust is earned on the battle. If you want to survive, if you want to win this, you must trust me. Allow me to explain why you need my leadership. We shall work this out. I understand your reservations. 
But with my leadership, the Fighters Guild will help us win this war. <laughs>